off saying uh, thank you everyone for coming and sticking around and uh, uh, making PodCamp 2014 uh, another great and successful event. Um, most of this is a chance for you to get to talk to us about your experiences, any problems you had, uh, all, of your, all of your praise <laughs> and love lavishing over us, Woo! washing over us, <laughs> over our bodies. Oh, yeah. 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 That, that's why I said don't do it, because I knew we would. <laughs> I'm going to ham it up any time I can. Uh, so I guess we'll first start with uh, talking about sponsors. We have to mention some sponsors. Uh, yes. For our contractual uh, So thank you to uh, Chevrolet, Find Your Roads, uh, to uh, Rogers. Um, what's their factory? Rogers? <laughs> uh, Ryerson, Catalyst. CNW, DigitalOcean, GitHub, Hyro Communications, ING Direct, Kinetics, Ludog, My Planet, Sisu, Tim Hortons, Fresh Books Hover, Right Sleeve, and Sticker Giant. Thank you so much for making this possible. And, uh, we'd also like to thank everyone who donated on the website. Yes. Uh, we raised a lot more money than we thought we would. <laughs> Uh, which, awesome. which was really awesome. Yeah. It, it helps uh, enable us to keep having these events. Uh, so, uh, we want to open the floor to questions or comments. Thanks to the speakers, too. Thank oh, you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thanks to everyone. Thank you. 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 There was just some real all-star performances. I thought that was uh, wonderful information and you know everything you want, you hope for. <clears throat> uh, one thing I went to um, podcast might have been two years ago. Um, I don't know if you can get this through a sponsor, hopefully, uh, or at what cost. But uh, two years ago, there was a coffee uh, stand and a snack stand. I think something along those lines is a gathering place between sessions really helps the networking along and it's a really good meeting hub. I, I, I found that there wasn't a node of that. You have a few coffee machines and that, but uh, I think getting someone to fork over whatever it would take to, to provide that, I think is a really good networking um, and a refreshment yeah. stand too. Yeah, definitely something that is not forgotten by any means. It totally is just uh, yeah, what's available thing. So it's it helps to know it's something that is wanted, so we know what to cut, what not to cut, things like that. So um, yeah, you knew exactly why there wasn't something like that, but it's we'll work on it. <laughs> yeah. Can you put the sessions you know and do my schedule you pick them? To an ICA sponsor, I can put it to my Outlook.com calendar or Google Calendar or whatever, <coughs> whatever else. That's yeah, nice. it's something we can uh, look into. That's more convenient, or at least uh, print the schedule here, because between my house and here, you know, you know. And yeah. if I change my mind, you know, <laughs> and, and, and so last year and the year before, I had when I had two sessions going at the same time, one in second floor, one in third floor, so it's like I can go back a bit. So if you could, any chance you could record it, you know, for let many other conferences do this? That's probably the biggest thing that we get asked, yeah. <laughs> and it's it's really a cost thing. Like yeah. it, it would cost it costs a lot of money to have people come in and record conferences and edit them and put them up on the website. Uh, if we yeah. come into a situation where we have sponsors uh, that want to do that for us, we we love it. Um, no, nothing fancy because I I edit videos for TV TV station in Toronto, so I know this, you know. Nothing fancy. You don't need not, nothing fancy. You know. Yeah. The I'm first the first few years we had, uh, you know, Ryerson provided the service for us, and it was a headache for Ryerson to provide. So we would have to find someone to do it for us. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Even even nothing fancy. I mean, oh man, it would be the best to be able to do that. But there's six sessions going on at once, and there's like over 50 people in total. So it's 
nothing fancy even then. It's like times 50. It gets fancy. <laughs> I mean, this year had, had no, no conflicts, but you know, I'm sure anybody here must have had these. Oh, of course. You know? Yeah, that's, that's yeah. the beauty of something like that. You, if there's too much good stuff, I mean, Nothing it could be worse. Too much good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, to kind of space for this um, networking, like a bit of an unconference infrastructure, even just like a whiteboard to say, hey, room so and so is free for any discussions. Mm -hmm. And here's a whiteboard on what you know, could be some. Discussions going on in there. Yeah, we try and uh, we try and have rooms available for people to do you know ad hoc sessions, and free up sessions. But uh, due to the, the popularity of PodCamp, there's really not a lot of open rooms. People book their sessions, and we have to try and fit them into the rooms we have available. But there there was one. I do think maybe yeah. it's just promoting it a little bit more was probably something that we can work on because yeah. there was something, and then we find they don't tend to get used too much. But you know, we can probably do something to make that better. Um, I know this event is outside with Toronto Reading Week, but is there a way we can have it in March or April when the weather's a bit better and you have more people come out? Uh, we're out at the mercy of Ryerson, so uh, during the summer, no one's here. There's, uh, the, the RTA staff don't aren't here to provide oh, support for us. Or April. Yeah, they're not. They're February. They want us to have it during this week, so that's yeah. when we have it. It's also a bit of a historical thing. I mean, I don't know if it's out of the question, but it's for the last eight years it's been this weekend. Yeah. So it's kind of a thing, but mm -hmm. something to consider. Did we talk about the survey? Because that's something, are we going to... Yeah, we'll be sending out a survey at some point to yeah. everyone who has signed up to attend. Uh, you can add your comments and stuff to like that. So we can just get a nice list of things that people yeah. have thought and had concerns about or things that they really liked and then... We can improve upon that. When we go to plan next year, we'll start with like, these are the key things that we need to address this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of like the voting, we, we made it so to see what the popularity of something was. And so that, I mean, this is good. So we start to think of what goes in that even. But that kind of feedback will be like, all right, a ton of people want this. So. Yeah. Next question. Yeah. Oh, thanks. That was easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks again. This is uh, this this has been uh, a really fun experience. This is my first year doing it. These yeah. guys are a bit more experienced, so um, you know, hit us up at Podcam Toronto. We're around. Thanks so much to all the volunteers. Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> and people who travel. I know there's a number of you from out of town. That's amazing. You're like the the foundation of pod camp around Canada, so we really appreciate some of you coming in, and I'll shut up now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyone else want to add anything? No. All right. So, Thanks, we look forward to seeing Thanks, you Daddy. next year. Same time, probably. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> uh, and uh, thanks for coming. Right. Thank you.